Thank you so much for inviting me here. I would like to talk about uh, our Scandinavian TIG project and a little bit about our data from this. It's a, a European funded uh, uh, project. It's an interregional uh, uh, program, uh, number four. And um, it's covered by the uh, let's see um, by the uh, Öresund, Kattegat, and Skagerrak region, which covers the southern part of Norway. Uh, western part of uh, Sweden and northern uh, and eastern part of Denmark. So it doesn't cover all Scandinavia, just a small part of it. But it covers uh, a total population of 9 million people and uh, about 125 square kilometers. The project uh, contributes to tie the region together so we can learn about each other's uh, developments on the tick area and tick-borne disease area. The ticks carry uh, a lot of different pathogens and the two main um, uh, pathogens in, in Scandinavia are Borrelia burgdorferi and tick-borne encephalitis virus. I don't say the other are not important, but we don't know so much about them. Um, but we can also uh, have some information about anaplasma, babesia, loping ill virus, Francisella tularensis, rickettsia, Bartonella, and Coxiella bunae. In, in Sweden, um, TB is notifiable. And uh, in Denmark, it's not. In Norway, it's notifiable. But um, Lyme borreliosis is not notifiable in Sweden, but it's estimated. And in Denmark, it's only neuroborreliosis which is notifiable. And in Norway, it's only systemic Lyme borreliosis which is notifiable. So it's very difficult to compare the numbers and the data we have. But in, uh, um, in Sweden, we have uh, 250 cases approximately each year of tick-borne encephalitis. In Denmark, it's uh, about two to five, two to eight, it depends. But it's not notifiable, so it might be higher, it might be lower. In Norway, it says we have 10 to 12, but it depends on which year. Uh, I would say five to 10, it's more realistic but it's notifiable. And it's only those which are hospitalized. Concerning Lyme borreliosis, it's estimated in Sweden to be about 40,000 patients. In Denmark, 100, and in Norway, 300. So you can see how difficult this is I will tell you a little bit about